Hi, Stephanie. I saw the question you posted here on community um, about how to calculate the um, number of minutes within a certain hour that mainframe processing occurred. Um, that was a pretty interesting question, so I figured I would uh, just create a video on it um, and then post it on our Boost TVM YouTube channel for you to take a look at. So let me show you what I've done here. So I, I, if I understand the question correctly, I do believe we have a workable solution here. Um, so the first thing that I did was I recreated you know, the table that you provided in the post here. Um, I pulled this in, you know, created a table for it. Um, I, you'll notice I added an extra row down here um, for the scenario where a job finishes within the same hour that it starts. So to make sure that we accounted for that scenario. Then uh, created a few formulas here. The first one, of course, was to determine if it spans multiple hours or if the job finishes within the same hour. That was important. Then the next formula is it parses out the end time first. So it calculates the amount that finishes in the second hour. Uh, that part was pretty easy there because you just look at the number of minutes here, 33 minutes, 34 seconds. So 33, 34. So don't really have to calculate anything here. We just have to parse out the, the value, the amount of time that occurred in the second hour. Then we just take the total amount and then subtract the second amount. And that leaves us whatever amount occurred in the first hour. So all of this is relatively straightforward. The next thing we did here was we have to unpivot it. So we pull that down and we'll move that around a little bit. So you can see here's the pivot buys that I chose. And then the um, and then what is remaining is the first and second hour. So after the unpivot occurs, then we have a table that looks like this. So we have the first and the second hour for each job. Oh, and you'll also notice I added a column for job number. So now each job has two rows, one for the first hour and then one for the second hour, and then the amount of time that occurred uh, within each hour. Then over here, I uh, created another formula that says which hour it occurred in, and it looks at, it parses out the either the start time or the end time, depending on if it was the first hour, it looks at the start time and then parses that number out. If it was the second hour, it looks at the end time and parses that number out. And so that lets us know which hour for each job it um, occurred in. So I believe this does everything you're looking for. I'm assuming this has something to do with, um, you know, maybe charging back mainframe processing time based on you know, peak hours, maybe there's different rates. I, you know, I really don't fully understand the use case, but you know, just the description of what you're looking to do, I believe this accomplishes. So I uh, hope this was helpful. Look forward to any feedback you have. And if there's uh, additional uh, steps that you're looking to do here that, that you need, just let us know. I appreciate it. Take care.